Hello folks, Foxlow back again. This is now 39 of my survival series. And as you can see in front of you, I've now got uh, level 10 in um, extreme conditions. This whole system that I was on uh, previous uh, to my previous video, <laughs> every single planet is extreme. And this is really extreme, so I spent some time here. As you can see, storm extreme. And the storms are very frequent, so I spent a lot of time here in the cave. The easiest way to do it is get into a cave and do it from in there. And it, um, that way you're safe, but you're still getting the conditions. So I spent some time in the caves. So there, got that to level 10. Now we want um, the animals. <laughs> I need that one now, the discoveries for the animals. I've only got to find another, what is it, five in this particular system. Um, so we'll have a go. Let's see how we go. Let's we'll see if I can get that to 10. Um, let's do that. And go from there. I ne need to put down the bay. So I don't have enough iridium, I don't think. No, I need 200. This is going to be a pain. Um, maybe find another planet because this is a bit too... Yeah, this is too... Too extreme to be able to do it. Cool animal though. She's cool. Yeah, it's going too quick. So let's sod off and see what one of the other ones are like. So we've got to find that animal one now. What a nasty planet. barren as well. Well, not completely barren, but oh, I've got enough. Let's have a look. See what's... Um, yeah, how much plutonium? I haven't got a lot of plutonium. I need to find somewhere which isn't as toxic as this and get some plutonium. Oh, put me timer on you, stupid boy. There we go. You're going to get an extra few minutes. I think there's... Um, couple of planets I haven't explored on this system yet. Um, that one there. So we'll go there, shall we? See what that's like. If we make it. I've also got the other um, milestone where I killed a load of uh, the starships. Um, because I rescued a couple of freighters. Didn't do it on camera. But um, there you go. I rescued a couple more freighters, which gave me that milestone. So all that's needed now is the animals. Now every planet I've come, gone to on this system has been extreme, so I presume <laughs> this one will be the same. We'll see. Oh, it's a water planet. Yeah, water planets is good. I would never put a base on a water planet for one simple reason. Half the friggin' stuff's in the water. Good to have a ba uh, water planet in your system if you want the rigogen. But to put a base on here? Nah, I wouldn't do it. It's toxic rain, I can hear it. I'm sure it is. But has it got loads of animals? Don't know. Doubtful. Well, we'll see. I'd rather have them say have five. Just have five animals instead of a, a bunch. To try and get the um, milestone. Now I want to find somewhere to land because I've got no frigging... Uh, yeah, I've got enough to take off once. But I'd rather find somewhere to land. For, oh, what's this? No. Has he got a module though? Can't see a module. That was the best way to check. Go to photo mode. Have a quick look. Where are you? Have you got one? Got one there. No, no more. Oh, wait a minute. What's that over there? Oh, no. It's, oh, it's Tamerium. So, a planet with Tamerium on it. Yeah, I didn't look, did I? So, this is Tamerium. I like the look of the planet. 
I would personally never put a, um, a base on a water planet for the simple reason discoveries and that they're all in the friggin water pain in the friggin arse when some of them you can't land on and you've got to go underwater it's very interesting in one degree but um, other than that if you want somewhere to land initially you never find it yeah, some of them could look nice and pretty but pretty sometimes it isn't always practical. I always find it, I have a difficult job finding somewhere to land on a water planet. Terminals which I'll never use again. Well, I say never, who knows what's going to be changing in the future. I must admit though, I am getting a bit, you know, because I'm playing it so long. I'm finding it sometimes a struggle to play. I suppose it's because I'm doing the same thing all the time. We'll see how far we go. I'm a one-man game. I don't play more than one game at a time. If I, um, for argument's sake, because I like Aussie, I like Fallout 4, I like Far Cry, I like Euro Truck Simulator, but if I go from one to another, I will stop playing the one I was playing before. While I've got interest in the one I'm currently playing, so I don't play more than one game at a time. I'm not that sort of a gamer. I will stick to one game until I'm burnt out from it. And then go on to another and maybe come back a bit later. But that's the way I've always played games. I can't, well I would say, flip from one game to another. That's not the way I play. You might say, oh, well, that's funny, you get no variety. Well, I don't do that variety, I do that for games I enjoy. If I'm enjoying a game, I'll stick with it until I get bored with it. Simple as that, I won't change. No, nowhere to land. And I don't know if this place has got loads of um, plutonium, because I need some. Nah, I think we'll discover it and then warp off somewhere else. Look at that, that's our, um, it's not coming up though, look, you, you're scanning and it doesn't come up. That's really annoying sometimes. Come on, scan, move. No, I'm not getting anything. Oh, let's just land here and see what the planet's like. Well, it's toxic, obviously, but um, how much so? Let's have a look. Toxic planet, poisonous dust, passive, bountiful, absent. No animals. Okay, fair enough. That's just wasted a friggin' <laughs> take off fuel. Oh, I need some iridium, though. That's handy. I didn't even think about that until I saw that. We need some iridium, so let's grab some. For our next jaunt. And while that's recharging, let's have a look at this. Get some more near. Oh, there's some. Oh, oh, we'll lovely. Oh, red stuff, look. Probably not enough. Well, that's. I'm digressing on these. Let's go to this first. <laughs> Let's grab some iridium first. And what's we got? Um, not in the ship, stupid boy. Oh, that'd be enough. Well, let's fill that other stack up. If there's enough here to fill it up with.
Okay, well, I know it's going down. Turn it up a little bit. That's better. It's like a little bit of sound, but as long as it doesn't cover my voice. Because you all want to hear my voice, don't you? <laughs> Doubtful. <coughs> Money, please. Thank you. Just done you, didn't I? Oh, there's some more red stuff. Look. I've used a lot of my... I had a lot of zinc, but I've used it when I was defending myself against the pirates. <laughs> I've used most of my zinc. Then, see, yeah, I ain't got a lot left. I had about 1,500 zinc, I think it was. And that was all used in um, defence of the freighters. Oh, you little shit. Oh, there's a... Uh, oh, there's a few um, nanites here. Let's grab them, shall we? As the toxicity is not that bad. There'll probably be a storm in a minute. Cool. Thank you. Any more? For any more? It's where was it? Oh. Maybe I ought to try and summon some um, sentinels. Yeah, I've lost one life by the way as well. I need to find a first aid box. Oh, there you, you, you answered my question. There you go. Should I? Well, I have now. To get some, I need some zinc, guys. All right, over here, you know, come round. Just to zinc, that's all I want. Thank you. Is that nickel or...? It's got to be nickel in it. Yeah, nickel. Don't need nickel. Oh, that's what we came here for, one of you. Okay. I don't need any tamarium. Oh, there's another one over there. Zinc. Where is he? That oh, icon disappeared quick. Don't see any smoke. Must be the other side of this hill. Yeah, I know. Let's go and have a look. Scanners on cooldown, so I'm going to get that. I really can't be asked to look at this planet anymore. Um, yeah, I know. Well, that's weird. Oh, well, let's go back to the ship. Stop it. I have to get some more plutonium elsewhere. Oh, look, there's one over there. Look, is that the one? Maybe? It's going to cause me a problem now because I don't have anything to mend it with. Can I make any... Um, shielding shards. Shielding shards. Do four. Let's see. That's it. Oh, you can do. Thank you. Where's your mate? There he is. Thank you. Oh, I'm going in. Oh, my. I must have already done that one. Okay. No more, 
or no more. Chip, chip, where are you? There you go. I ain't gonna be bothered picking up tomorrow, why should I? Yeah, these are the two I've done earlier, aren't they? Stupid boy. Okay, let's get away from this system. We're gonna walk somewhere else. We'll follow the Atlas so I can get all the um, warp cells for free. How much um, plutonium did I pick up? Not a lot, was it? Where are we? Where's plutonium? Where is it? Uh, oh, 250. Not oh, cool. That's no, that's okay. It's not so bad. A little bit. Not enough, but it'll do for now. Alright, let's get out of here. <coughs> right, fill up our um, iron. Put one in there, one at a time. Let's fill that up while we can. Oh, look, where are we getting from? Okay. Bye, pirates. Why has it gone on free? Anomaly. Oh, has it come up again? Oh no, it'll be the oh the Atlas interface, yeah. But we'll head towards it. So um How many planets are that? Five planets, I friggin' know. I don't want to go straight there, so we need to find come on, get in there. There we go. I wanna try and get that animal milestone on the way through. Oh, it's a pleasant pleasant looking system. Not too red. It's five planets, wasn't it? Was it five? One? That's a nice looking planet. Watery, doesn't it? Looks like Earth. One. And two. Three. Four. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's four. Where's the fifth one? Okay. On the scanner, there's one there, one there, one there, nothing behind it, no, one there, that one there, ah, yeah, there's one behind that one, isn't there, it can't be seen, yeah, see the edge of it, just there, look, see, just poking there, there, this looks like another water planet, doesn't it, moose on goo, or whatever, Let's <laughs> let's see what um what system is it by the way? Gek. Oh we need some ship stuff. Oh, what have we got? Okay. Pirate. Have I got enough iron? Yeah, I've got enough iron. Let's see what this pirate business is. Oh distress signal. Well you're getting a three V in it. Let's check the station out first. That'll carry on fire and they'll be there when we come out. So I get a save. <laughs> Just in case. And I would not, you know, like a shield or some uh, tech please. Gek. Gek fellow. I want some uh, shielding, you know. I've got no tech at all yet. No, not much of it for the ship. Hello, Gekkies! <laughs> yeah, it's so cute. Um, just thinking, have I got any Gek stuff? I can't remember. Um, don't think I have actually. Nothing in there, no, about my ship. No, I've got Corvax, but no Geks here. Okay. Let's see what you got. Nothing I want, I bet. No, you see, it's all crap. Oh, you know, no, you know. I don't get this yet. Like I said, I might do something in the uh, uh, creative one day. Um, actually, do a creative friggin' play. I don't know. I know it'll be easy, but <coughs> I can discover where are we? Where is he? Ah, talk. What you got to say for yourself, mate? Give water for absolute hydration. Friend, hydration, get temperature. 
Kick temperature high. Yeah, you want that one then, don't you? Say the Greeley gulps from my hydration system. Its gratitude seems immense. Oh, no, for Christ's sake. Beam cooling. System Sigma, probably what I've already got. Oh, come on, where's my multi-tool? Oh, a beam, cooling system, no, towel, I've got the towel. Where's the other one? Oh, I didn't have it. Okay, cool, thank you. I need a 24 slot gun, but I haven't found one yet. <laughs> so I'm not putting, I'm not filling this one up yet. Oh, it's a pity, no shit, I can't get anything from this place. Um, no, that's it, cool. Right, let's go and check the planets out. And maybe if the pirates, you know, they're still attacking, so do a save. And let's see if I can survive. Come on, let's go. I'm going to rescue it. I want the warp cells if I can get it. There was a problem when their their side is in the equation as well. Quite a good looking system really, isn't it? No red in there, thank Christ. Oh, there's going to be six. I don't see any friendly. I quite like that freighter actually. But it's probably going to be less than the one I've got. Let's put us. Oh, no, put us on phase beam. There we go. I quite like her. Look at that crater. It's cool. You see how the ships fly through them? We can't do that, but they can. They can actually fly through the freighters. We can't do that. I need to take one without hitting the freighter. Let's take those. Wait a minute, are they the right one? Oh, they are, aren't they? <laughs> nice looking ships as well. Come on. How come he's approaching me? I didn't knit one. Right, let's get out of the way. I like to take them away from the crater. You get well into the um, asteroid field. Watching the shield. Oh no. There's the one that I want. Did that wrong, didn't I? I'm not playing very well. Come on guys, follow me out here. I haven't got the uh, coolant for me um, guns yet, so I have to do it in very short first, and that leaves you open like that. All right, come on, you out a lot, where are you? Come into the field, please. Now I'll find where they are. Oh. 
Right. No, it'll be better. You're gone, mate. Cheerio. Right, let's hope we get the message and it's blue. Good. Let's go and have a chat, shall we? There's only a small plate as well. So mine's a 25 slot, so don't think I'll buy this one. Let's hope it gives us um, some warp cells or even antimatter will be fine. And it's another lovely sunny day in London, it's nice and warm. So I've got every fan and capable of running in my room at the moment. Take supplies, of course. Well, the credits are handy, but I don't need them, mate. I need something. Oh, that'll do. A warp cell as well would be nice. Sometimes they give you that. And the warp cell. Well, yeah, you're a geek. You'd be a bit tight, aren't you? You see. <coughs> got to look at it, haven't you? Yeah, 18 slot. Okay, guys. Thank you. Right, let's go and um, check out the animals. That's what I'm going to do now, guys, is just go and uh, get the um, animal milestone. Now, we'll record it all. We'll go to the first planet. And we've got another five minutes. It's 25 minutes in now. What I do now, I can't save now, obviously, so when we get out there, I will call my freighter, do a save, and get onto the planet. Way. Yeah, cool system though. So let's call me freighter. Huh? Why can't I? Come on. Why can't I call it here? Hmm, let's go away for a bit. Can I call it now? Yes. Do a land, aren't you beautiful? That colour. Do a land to get the save. There we go, I've got pirates again, look. How much shielding I've got? I've got four shields, so. Probably not enough stuff. Let's have a look. Hmm. See how much you use? You use a lot of iron. Let's save. Okay, let's get to the nearest planet. And are they coming for me? Oh, no, another. I'm not going to go for another one. No, I'm not doing another one. Not bad for damage the ship because um, if you look at it, it's got 1,792, but that's the damage of the guns, not the damage of the lasers. <coughs> and I very seldom use the guns. Unless we're on um, fighting on the planet. Let's see what this water one holds. Probably not much. I didn't even look and see what the planet had as its um, 
resource, but I mean, I'm not looking for that, am I? By the look of them, probably um, Sumerium. <laughs> oh! Oh no, I thought for a minute. What I would like, like to find is um, vortex cubes. A planet with vortex cubes on it. Oh, come on, find some of the land. I don't have to use juice. Doesn't look like it, does it? Oh, look at that sandy outcrop ahead, look. Oh, I'm gonna land here. Land on the sand. Come on. Oh, landing area not clear. How about here? Come oh, on, there you go. We're landing on sand. What have we got? Noxious gas. Relaxed, ample, or no animals. <laughs> you see, everything's toxic. <laughs> I'm going to get in the ship, I suppose. Um, yeah, 20 minutes. I'm going to look for a planet and just do the animals, guys. I'm not going to record it all. It's just the same old, same old. So um, if you got this far, thanks very much and I'll catch you in the next one.